Hello everyone, we're back with FTB. This is episode one and roll intro. Okay guys, that is our intro. It's only a slim image right now, but uh, I'm still working on the animations. And this is actually my second time recording this episode because last time my mic didn't work and I was gutted about that. But anyway, we need to just, I'm going to start a new world because you didn't see anything. Let's just keep that in mind. Right, so same as last time, I'm just gonna call this one FTV LP. No, uh, I haven't thought of a name for it yet, but you know we are gonna think of that sometime soon. I for the see for this, we're just gonna type in CMD biscuit FTV one. Oh, okay, that's our C. That's our name of the world. I didn't have caps lock on name, just because everyone was wondering. It's shift. Right, so, just in case everyone didn't know, FTB is a, t it's a huge mod pack, it's got tons of mods. One of the reasons you might have noticed is this map. To bring up the extra large part of this is just X, and you can't see where the mobs are when you press X, but you can on the upper left, upper, upper left, I meant upper right, sorry. Upper right of your screen, so you can see that. Over here is one of the new trees. This is very kind of hard to see. This is a mine factory reloaded tree. Nice tree. Remember, give me one second. The waypoints have uh, transferred over on both worlds. Okay. Um, ooh, we have a creeper over there. As you can see, that we can see that on my mini map. It's uh, you can zoom in. I like to keep it at this uh, this range. It's quite nice. Uh, this is quicksand, very slow to break, and if you get stuck in it, you will pretty much die. There we go, a starter chest. Okay, so we've got a tree tap, this is useful. Four, two, three, and just like something here. I do use the number pad, the, the uh, numbers on the top to designate where I want my things. It's, I just find it a lot easier. I think we pickaxes more damage. We got a brown wolf. I haven't seen one of these in quite a while. So I think I'm gonna go out and collect resources. I'm gonna pause now and then I'm gonna be back to you guys once I've collected some basic things. Maybe got a house going. Okay, what the sec. Okay guys, I'm back and I just thought I'd show you something. Yeah, it's one of the new things from Buildcraft. This is oil. We're gonna be using this in some sort of machinery stuff, which I don't know if I told you about machinery, but I think you get the idea with Feed the Beast. It's uh, just a just an oil spill where we can use up and use with pumps and we can pump it up and we can find it to fill and use it in our machines. I, I thought that would be really cool. And I also want to show you this is the start of what is a volcano. And I see this little green little mound over there, that's also a dungeon. And we might go there, I don't know, it's really risky sometimes, especially with me, considering I didn't even have iron armor, which is recommended to so you can just sprint in, get what you need, get out. Um, this is a volcano, as I said. Really great for geothermal energy. As you can see, it's starting to get night, and this has been some cows spawned in here, then the volcano spawned, then they suffocated. A bit gutting for them, but uh, that's how life works. We can also use a pump on the lava, and we can pump it through waterproof pipes, and we can put it into a geothermal generator, or a, uh, it's a thermonomic fabricator. It's uh, something along the lines of that. Um, and we can use that to ooh, uh, just to generate power. So I thought that was pretty cool to just show you guys. I think it's getting right. I think I'm just going to quickly make uh, a little home and start mining. I'll be back if I find anything interesting when I'm mining. So you just like, I actually forgot to show you guys this, but this is the dungeon. Um, I think I'm just going to see if I can run in. I'm just going to create a quick... I think that's how you spell it. Just a quick waypoint, and we're going to try and run in. And then we'll get another sword. Before I do go in. This is just going to be a very, very quick run in. Hopefully, we can get in without dying. We might actually make this our home for now. That'll be kind of cool.
There's a pretty high possibility that I will die here. Yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna live that, so... He's gonna follow me, Damn it! I forgot it was night time. Shouldn't have gone in there, as I said. Get like an armor. <laughs> right, so we're just gonna run up here a second. And we're just gonna quickly mine into this mountain, or hill rather. Is there a side over here? Made of stone? There is. Right by the creeper. Yeah, I can take him on. Okay. Is he stuck? No, damn it. I forgot they now have the smarter AI. Which is it's good in some terms, but then you think sometimes I forget and it gets annoying. I think being here because it would be a good idea because then we might be able to get into that dungeon another time. I'm just gonna put this outside second. Oh well that was helpful. I'm just gonna mine some cobblestone. I'm gonna make this just a little tiny house. I'm probably not gonna stay here for long. Just until they can start mining. There's probably gonna be a lot of cutscenes until we get a little bit further into the game. Just it's just to make it a little bit more interesting. So back in a sec and hopefully I'll have this house done and I'll be starting my mining. Okay guys, I'm back and this is the first thing I found this new. This is Amber, I do believe. It can only be mined with iron. And I haven't got far. I've only started this mine not so long ago. I think I'm getting an FPS drop. Yeah, I always get another bit of FPS drop. Let me just change some options. Maybe just turn it down to normal draw, um, normal render distance, considering we're not doing anything. And the reason I left this gap here is just so it likes to go outside. It's quite nice. I've got two doors either end of this little hill. Got made use of those iron bars we got from those dungeon over there. Um. And I'm just going to continue diggings, so I just thought you might want to know about that. This is part of the Thorncraft mod. And I don't think it has a particular use yet. I think it's fine, iron. It's always useful. As you see, this is why I wanted to pause and do cutscenes, because this generic stuff you've already seen before if you've played Minecraft. Uh, you might just be viewing this just because you can. But I, I can guess people want to do... Feed the beast are probably people who have already played the game before. Okay. Whoa, what is with this lag? I have I usually get 200 frames per second, once, so this is very odd. I'm just gonna quickly. Um, hmm. Don't know that will change anything. Smooth lighting off, maybe fast. It's a lot brighter. Yeah, it's just... I got a lot of background. Okay, so these two new ones, this is a Zycraft block. This is, I think this is either dark or black. Yeah, it's dark Zycorium. Mainly used for just decorative blocks and just building, which is decorative, but you know. This is lead, I believe. Tin, sorry. More of this dark zircorium. Uh, I don't know if I'll show you this, but if you press U on an item, anywhere in here, it tells you where you can do this. So, with minium stone or phosphor stone, you can use charcoal and cook seven. It's not worth it doing that, just, you know, you get a. Uh, it's just faster, maybe, if you don't have a furnace. Slag furnace. Ooh, I think we might be only making one of these. Get the stone out of it as well. That's uh, quite heavy. Uh, dirty tin gravel. Hmm. Okay, power furnace. We'll we'll get into these pulverizers. Pulverizer, sorry. He's very useful. You can get iron sometimes. Tenth of a chance. So these are just some of the many things we can use. Tells you what will be useful, and I didn't actually show you this, but if you continue to go through here, 
get this tin then we can see what tin is actually used for which is used in a lot of the batteries uh, tin cans the electrical engine all things that are very useful in this uh, in this mod pack um, right. okay we're just going to continue digging here um, I don't know if I sh well I obviously I haven't oh I think we've got copper here yeah, this is copper. Copper you will need immensely, all the time. And I see that green stuff that they are coming to be mine with. And I am pickaxe, and that's uranium. Okay. I do believe it's iron. It is iron. This white block below me is marble. And it's, again, a decorative block, but is very nice. I do like to build with it, especially as well as the, the volcano we seen earlier. I do like to build with that block as well. That's also decorative, not many uses, apart from um, in the micro blocks one, which allows you to make a like s smaller paneling of certain blocks. Well, pretty much every block. Um, as you see, you see that we've got a little cave. White, I think it'd be. If we started dig digging that way now, we would hit that cave, I think. I'm not going to do that. These little spodges, they are these little crystals you can find. They do like that. They're a bit poor lighting, but uh, they're good if you run into torches and you don't mind, you can use them. They do damage you, so you could set up traps. Oh, I think we found them. Yeah, here they are. Here's one. It's a quartz crystal. Um, you can pile them up in sets of three, so that's one, two, and then three. It's kind of like a ninja star effect. It's pretty, really cool. Pretty, really cool. That does not make sense, but you catch my drift, I think. I hope, anyway. I hope you guys can understand me and the mic has actually worked this time. I really hope it has. Um, I don't care if you know who's going to smell the cyan. I'm still my own pickaxe, because mine is dying. It's my makeshift shelter here. It's a uh, very basic concept in this bed yet, but I should do next time. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh, leave soon. So I'm sorry I didn't get much done in this video, guys. But uh, hopefully in the next video I might do a lot off camera. And then I'll show you all the ores that I found and stuff like that. So, I'm going to finish covering this iron. I'm going to continue mining off camera. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe if you like. And please tell me if you like these videos. I will. I really like it. As you can see, I'm sorry about this frame rate lag. I, I really need to look into this. I don't know why it is lagging. Shouldn't be much lag, really. Um, V-Sync is a big one, actually. It uh, slows mine down. So, I, I know it's meant to like, cap your frame rate, but for some reason, sometimes it can bug out some games. So, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video. Um, I think I might find out another Kerbal Space Program. One or another, the first Kerbal Space Program. Just another video like today. Um, hope you enjoyed this. See you guys later. See you.